reason why I joined the Army. I made it easy for my recruiter. I said, hey, I just want to shoot a machine gun and jump out of a plane. He said, sign right here. I was raised on American Pie. I'm a, a cradle conservative. I was voted most likely to succeed, most conservative. My nickname among a lot of my friends was uh, G.I. Josh. I wanted to defend my country. Uh, I tried to enlist in the Marines right out of high school, got hurt playing football, uh, so joined the National Guard and then ended up going to West Point and being a commissioned officer. Uh, put it bluntly, I'm a patriotic son of a gun. Um, I love this country. It's done some great things for me. I've had some great opportunities. Both my grandfathers fought in World War I. My father fought in World War II. I had an uncle who fought in Korea. Cousins that fought in Vietnam. You know, so there's been a family member in the military since there's been a country. At some point, every soldier has to face the question, will I be able to kill another human being in combat? This film is about killing in war and about some U.S. soldiers who have chosen not to. The evidence is that far more soldiers refuse to kill than we might expect. In World War II, research by the official U.S. Army historian, Brigadier General S.L.A. Marshall, revealed that among U.S. soldiers in combat, less than 25% actually fired their weapons at the enemy. Even with their own lives at risk, 75% did not try to kill the enemy. Marshall wrote, the average individual still has such an inner resistance toward killing a fellow man that he will not take life if it is possible to turn away from that responsibility. At the vital point, he becomes a conscientious objector.